I, I think when I think about trauma responsive versus non trauma responsive systems, I think about those systems I've been involved with where the focus was really about them. It was agency centered or agency focused. And maybe maybe because the model in the organization was they were healthy and I was sick. They were condescending at, 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 at best. They couldn't help but be. Anytime you take a power over position where one person is healthy and the other person is sick and the healthy person's gonna fix the sick person, you have a problem. It can't be trauma informed. The focus still there is on what's wrong with someone instead of what happened to them, you know. Um, oftentimes, and I think this is still a concern where interventions or what's called treatment is forced on people because somebody knows better than somebody else. And, then, and trauma responsive systems are much quicker to figure out that, it, that just because we have a description that we call a diagnosis of this person's behavior, we don't know anything about their story about what this behavior means to them. We don't know what happened to them. We don't know how they frame, what their frame of reference is. So, you know, I think about a trauma responsive system is, is not as concerned with the diagnosis that is descriptive of the behaviors as it is the person's story and what the meaning around the story is. Because, you know, to call someone, well, Here's a classic. Just because a cat has kittens in an oven doesn't make the kittens biscuits. <laughs> and that's kind of what the process in the psychiatric community of labeling is, is, you know, this happens here, so that means that is this. And that is simply, well, to me it's kind of absurd. Um, it's useful because it helps payments receive, payments processed through systems and insurers and third party payers won't pay unless there's a diagnosis. But a diagnosis, it's really just a, a description of a set of behaviors to which a label has been attached. And the problem is, is that the minute that you give that diagnosis, in almost every sense, certainly in the social sense, if not at the clinical and the agency sense, the person becomes the label. And part of it is it's a great shorthand. It's a great shorthand if you say, oh, he's depressed. Well, we have a whole list of behaviors underneath that that we each carry that talk about what depression is. It doesn't tell us um, he's just recently returned from burying both parents. Um, his work is unfulfilling. He has a history of early childhood loss. He has no birth family left. That's much more interesting than he's depressed, but he's depressed takes two seconds and becomes a short form of shorthand. The problem is that the stigma attached to depression and or the meaning which is stigmatizing is so different than the meaning attached to what's happened to him. And when we look at what happens to people, the, what they're doing, their behavior makes a lot more sense than if we just chunk it in that category.